here. Hey, are, boys. There she is, over there. wreck off the ground in the dark. So we try and find them, sir, and lead them in. Now we don't know where they're coming from. Derek, you stay with me. Sir. Jock, take the vicar. Set it up this end of the village. Sir. Government bureaucracy taxes the mind and the body to the limits of endurance. Yes, well, it's very good of you to see me, Senor Montero. Not at all. Now, you want to enjoy your day off, and my time is limited, so may we drop the formalities? As you wish. I want you to use your influence to persuade the governor to have a reception. Among the invited guests will be every port official from Marmagoa and the officers from every ship at anchor in the harbor. You will, on the same night, arrange a carnival, which will attract the crews of all the ships. Well. You mentioned my sons. Yes. I can arrange that your sons continue to enjoy their schooling in India and that their fees are paid directly into a bank there, yes or no? A wise decision. The invitations have already been printed. The date is March the 8th, the time, 2100 hours. What is your reason for this, senor? That is a question you do not ask. It is simply a display of your country's hospitality and neutrality. Now, these are for your immediate use. I'm sure your list of expenses will be very imaginative. Oh, one more thing. I'd hate like hell to see anything go wrong. For your sake and the children. Arrested for fraud. The case was dismissed. The Victoria Harbor Tunnel was built by a man that I used to work for after I finished my tour in Nam. Halfway through construction, he ran into money problems. So he pulled in Griffiths as an equity partner. Now, Griffiths got his cash from a secret law but you're certainly a disappointment up close, aren't you? To your feet, ma'am, are almost as big as your mouth. You know what you are? Hmm. Just trash. A bottle of whiskey for courage and the manners of a goat. You're the one I could use a lesson in manners. I'm not from you, whiskey breath. Town has a new sheriff. I'm the sheriff. I'm the sheriff. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. You look so comical when he puts your badge on the run. I'm not a run. Take you to get everybody out of your hotel. What? Everybody out. How long is it going to take? <sighs> Why? Well, cost you one cent more than regular hotel rates. Two connecting rooms. 
The best in the hotel. One for entertaining your many new friends in town and one for sleeping. If your conscience lets you sleep. Oh, I sleep just fine, ma'am. Is that so? You care to see for yourself? You tell Mrs. Belling there'll be two for supper. I like chicken fried. And anything else? Best bottle of wine in town. What did you say your name was again? I didn't. No, I guess you didn't at that, did you? in the eyes of God. All these people, are they your sisters and brothers? They most certainly are. And you won't mind if they come over and stay at your place, will you? Shot him yesterday. And Fred Morris. And, and you know, uh, those are just the names in case you're really interested, Sheriff. Yeah, I can't say I blame you. You know, uh, Billy, he wasn't a love man. What he did have was all bad, just bad. What you're trying to say is there's no charge, right? Uh, well, forgive and forget, you know. That's uh, uh, our motto. <laughs> you dirty bastard. slow to get mad. Because maybe you didn't go back for more. Don't Yeah. I know, I know. Give me a break, please. It's the first time I've ever smoked in the house. Let a man enjoy himself with your girl. <laughs> 